Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. <laughs> Can you see me? Can you hear me? I've forgotten how to stream, to be honest. <laughs> I haven't done this in so long. I've forgotten how to do it. Alright, you can hear me, I think. Hello! Nice to see you guys. Nice to see you guys. I hope you can hear the music as well. I made it a bit quiet. I realized that I forgot to turn it up for the intro screen. Uh, but hello! Nice to see you! Yeah, so today I'm going to be just um, making this bracelet. This is the um, challenge bracelet for November. And I'm going to be making it uh, today. I'm just trying to get out of a bracelet slump. I haven't made a bracelet in uh, like over a month. <laughs> The lighting is a bit too dark, is it? Uh, I can barely see my screen because um, I've got so many lights on here and just a massive glare on my screen. Is the lighting too dark? I can turn the exposure up a bit. Uh, can I? Oh, what am I doing? Oh, I accidentally dragged the wrong thing. Sorry, one sec. I've literally forgotten how to stream. <laughs> uh, configure video. There we go. Exposure. The lighting is fine. I'll turn it up just a little bit. What am I trying to do? Camera control, exposure, turn off the auto feature. And is this better? Is this better? I'm, I'm waiting for replies. I need someone to say in the chat. Please tell me if this is any better. Uh, what is your favorite bracelet pattern to make when you are bored? I don't really have one. Uh, I used to say the Starbucks. Yes, it's great. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Thanks, guys. Um... I don't really have like a favorite pattern. I, I like to do the starburst to get myself out of slumps, but I'm not in the mood to do that right now, so I just want to make this one. What time is it for me? It's 5 p.m. for me. Mm. Is that a soda pop pattern? Probably, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's on my to-dos. I don't remember the pattern. Ah, oh, I should have put it in the, in the title. I forgot what the pattern number is, but it's in my to-dos and it's the challenge pattern of the month. Um... <laughs> Oh, right, okay, someone redeemed a follow me on Insta, which I will take a picture of. I didn't follow anybody since the previous stream, and I actually wanted to talk to you guys about that. I'm probably going to remove the follow me, um, perks. I don't know how to, oh my god, I've forgotten how to stream, honestly. <laughs> um, the, what is it, the button, the reward for the points? Uh, I'm probably going to remove them because they are a bit overwhelming, to be honest. I've, um, oh, I need to turn this off. I've, um... I keep forgetting to do them, and then when I sit down to do them, there's like a million of them, uh, and I spend like a really long time trying to find everyone and uh, follow everyone, so I'm probably going to get rid of them. So if you want to redeem a perk, um, do it on this stream, and then after this stream, I'm going to follow everybody from last stream, because I still haven't done that, even though last stream was ages ago, um, and this stream as well, and after that, I'm probably going to remove it. I'm getting married on December 19th! Oh, that's so awesome! Also, I think I recognize you! Braces by Jesse. Yeah, oh, that's awesome! Congratulations! Have a lovely wedding. <laughs> Our wedding anniversaries are going to be really close. My wedding anniversary is December 21st, so just two days away from yours. But uh, congrats, that's awesome. Hope it goes well. Mm. Since this is my last stream to do so, my Insta is this. Okay, I saw another follow me. So I will take a picture for you after the stream. I hope your wedding goes great. Yeah, me too. I hope your wedding goes great. All right, um, I actually need to... <laughs> I need to open the pattern up because I like I can sort of tell what I need to do from the top of the pattern that's already here like I can tell what I need to get done uh, from just looking at that but I'd rather have the pattern up just to make sure I don't make any mistakes because I'm not too confident in it I've just only made I've only made one iteration of it all right I've got another follow me I'll take a picture follow you after the stream uh, there we go Alright, so, I've done this. Some of you guys wanted a tutorial on this bracelet as well. Like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a tutorial for it. Because I have a lot of different uh, videos already planned for the month of November. I'm not sure if I'll be able to fit it in. And if I do fit it in, I'd rather, you know, make a tutorial for it when it's actually the challenge of the month. But we will see, we will see. Truth or dare? Truth, what is your least favorite thing about bracelet making? Oh, starting them. I hate cutting strings. I absolutely hate cutting strings because I always get it wrong, um, and I hate 
um, actually doing like the beginning of it because I always get the string positioning, well not always, but a lot of the time I get the string positioning wrong and it's just frustrating and annoying so I really don't like that. <laughs> Have you been with the passport issues? Well, my sister wasn't able to come uh, in the end but that's honestly a good thing because uh, the UK went into lockdown anyway. So, um, I mean to be fair, if she had come she would probably be stuck in quarantine anyway but you, you know what I mean, like it's just not, not a good vibe, not a good vibe. She might have gotten stuck here. Uh, because the flight that I was supposed to take got cancelled entirely. She might not have been able to get back to Moscow with the new quarantine and everything. So honestly, like, it was a blessing in disguise that she wasn't able to come. Um, but yeah, they applied for a new passport. She's going to get one soon. Um, and um, yeah, maybe she'll visit me at some point later. But that didn't happen. But oh well, you know, COVID ruined everyone's travels plans. So it was kind of half expected anyway. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh my god, there's so many tangles at the end of this. So many tangles. Uh, I missed you so much, this is my first stream. Welcome! Welcome to the stream, I hope you enjoy it. Mm. How many knots do you make for your loops? I never count. I have no idea. <laughs> I never count out uh, how many knots I'm doing for the loop, I just make however many knots feels right. Uh, and then I just sort of fold the loop to see if it looks like it's the right size. Yeah, I always just guess. I never actually count. Uh, will you be choosing people to help you with the captions soon? I have like 30 people at the moment who have volunteered to help me make captions for my videos. And um, they've already done, I think, close to like 30 videos. <laughs> to be honest. I'm not sure, I'm not counting. But there's been like a lot of videos that they've done. Definitely like at least 20, I think. Um, so I'm very grateful. I don't think I need any people at the moment. I'm pretty sure that, like, at some point, um, people are gonna start to fall off, whether they get busy or, you know, just get bored of doing that, and maybe, uh, once I see that, you know, the production, I guess, has slowed down, then I'll try to introduce some more people, but I think 30 isn't enough right now, because it just ends up, if I add more people, there's just gonna be multiple people working on the same document, and it's just gonna be a bit of a, a bit of a mess. Um, so I think, I think that this is okay. Uh, but yeah, thank you to everyone who did, um, join, by the way. Am I doing this right? I think so. Thank you to everyone who did join and who is helping me make captions for my videos. I've, like, been blown away by the overwhelming support. I didn't expect it, to be honest. Like, I expected a couple people to show up, but not this many, and I'm just, wow. <laughs> Are they putting captions on old videos as well? Yes, that's kind of the idea. I'm focusing uh, mostly on tutorials at the moment, so I'm basically the majority of tutorials that I have on my channel now are captioned, um, so that's good. I'm trying to get captions out for every tutorial, but there's some issues with some of them. Basically the way that we're doing it is um, Google automatically transcribes um, your videos for you and creates these auto-generated captions, and so we're just taking that and then editing it to actually be coherent and make sense because Google doesn't always get it right, and also Google Google doesn't add any punctuation, so it's kind of difficult to read. Um, and then some videos, for whatever reason, don't get automated captions, and I cannot tell you why, but Google just refuses to make auto-generated captions for some videos. So I'm still thinking about what I need to do with those because actually creating captions from scratch is so much work. Um, it's it, a huge amount of work. Um, so <clears throat> I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but uh, I'm trying to get captions out for everything. So yeah, every video that comes out, I'm going to hopefully have captions on before it comes out. And every video that uh, I have, I'm sort of, um, well, people are working on them. So that's the idea. Mm. That's the idea. I'm in the Caption Help, Dis uh, Caption Help Discord group and they have done so many videos. Yes, thank you for being there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so many videos, so many videos. Uh, can you play Among Us? I've been trying to get a group of people to play Among Us, but it's difficult to get everyone to play at the same time. Maybe at some point. We're trying. We're trying. Uh, what is an easy beginner pattern after doing candy stripes and chevrons? I think you should try... Um, variations of chevrons like I have a bajillion first of all I have a playlist for beginner uh, tutorials which you can check out if you want um, but I think variations of the chevron are great um, like the polka dot chevron the distorted chevron the refracted chevron there's a million different variations of them um, 
So yeah, I recommend I recommend that. <sighs> da, 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 da. <sighs> Masha, I want to say thank you for everything you do. I'm trying to, um, I am starting to sell bracelets. I have won a few bracelet book challenges and just thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh, I'm really glad that I could help you uh, with this amazing hobby of yours. And congrats on uh, starting to sell and winning challenges and such. Mm. Uh, someone's saying that they redeemed to follow me. Yes, I just mentioned early in the stream. I didn't follow anybody from last stream. Um, for whatever reason, it, things happened. Um, I'm going to be following everyone after this stream, and then... Am I doing this right? I don't think I'm doing this right. Am I doing this right? Yeah, I am. Sorry. Um, and then after this stream as well, I'm going to be removing the buttons. So if you want to uh, use the follow me buttons, then use them in this stream, because after this stream, they're going to be gone, because I am finding it to be a little bit overwhelming. A little bit overwhelming. <laughs> Would you rather work in all grayscale or in all rainbow? Hmm. Both, to be honest. That sounds like a challenge. Like a fun challenge I could do. <laughs> Both sounds very interesting. I feel very confused. What am I doing? I feel like I did something wrong. I'm actually not think so. I think I did everything right. I think I did everything right. But yeah, I mean, I haven't streamed for such a long time. Um, that... <laughs> There's so much happened, I don't even know where to start, where to update you guys. Where to start? Um, okay, let's start from something. I got my own Switch. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you might have heard me speak about the fact that I <laughs> stole my husband's Switch. Uh, because, um, I wanted to play Animal Crossing and he was like, yeah, you know, I haven't been playing my Switch for a while anyway, so here you go. Uh, so we bought Animal Crossing for his Switch and I basically stole his Switch for, like, three months, I think, something along those lines, uh, and I was using his Switch to play Animal Crossing. And then when I came uh, back to Russia now to visit him and like everyone else, he realized that he wants his Switch back. And like my initial idea was that I didn't want to get my own Switch because I didn't know if I even want to play Animal Crossing, like if that's even a game that I would enjoy because I've never played it before. Um, so, and I didn't want to just buy, you know, a console for a game that I didn't even know if I was going to like. So now that I do like it, I ended up buying my own Switch. So I had to, uh, and because with Animal Crossing, you can't transfer your island from one Switch to the other. I had to basically start my island from scratch. Um, but, okay, I've got a couple of, um, I'll continue the story in a second, but I've got a couple of redemptions. I've got a TikTok redemption. I'll take a picture, follow you after the stream. Um, Marissa, subscribe with Prime. Thank you very much, Marissa. I love watching your videos. That's so awesome. You're on a full month streak. Um, if you didn't know, yes, you can, um, if you've got Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free by linking your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account via Twitch Prime. If you just Google that, it'll explain how to do that, and you can subscribe for free if you want to, so thank you for doing that. Um, I'll get to the Would You Rather question in just a second. But yeah, I wasn't able to transfer my island, so I basically had to start a new one from scratch. But I also didn't want to go through the entire storyline from scratch, so I ended up time skipping a bunch to complete the storyline. And then I traveled from one island to the other to basically transfer all of my money and uh, all of my stuff and such. So I got like a big head start in uh, creating my new island. And because I had already played the game for a bit, I actually now realized like kind of what I want to do. The first time I played it, the island was a bit of a mess. I sort of created like a design, but it didn't really make much sense. My houses were all over the place. The landscaping was a bit off. Um... And stuff like that so now that i actually played the game for a bit i could basically create like my custom island but i also had this amazing head start where i had a bunch of money and such so i had a, a good time i had a good time it was actually really refreshing to create um a new island from scratch so i'm still working on it but i'm having a good time i'm thinking of uh, maybe streaming animal crossing at some point but i need to get a game capture card and they're pretty expensive and i can't really justify the cost at the moment but maybe at some point maybe at some point mm, someone asked would you rather use entirely dmc metallic and a bracer or always use wet string that never dry wet string that never dry i hate both of those options i find it hilarious that whenever you guys give me would you rather you just want to make me suffer and give me like two options that are disgusting but out of those i would definitely choose the wet one even though that's gross i just i don't want to work with dmc if i would have to work with just metallic dmc i probably wouldn't make bracelets anymore 
<laughs> like it's that bad. Um, could you do a Stardew stream or video on your second channel? Me and my friends are addicted. Well, maybe at some point. I haven't played Stardew Valley in a while, but maybe at some point I will. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, sorry, I'm just reading the chat. Uh, but yeah, I got my own Switch. I'm very excited. I even, um, basically I had to wipe the old island from um, Stefan's Switch. Um, and uh, he created his own island now. Like, he got his own Animal Crossing, which I had no idea if he would even want to do. But he started it. <laughs> we'll see how long it he lasts. But um, with the whole uh, Animal Crossing thing, like, I started thinking about why I enjoy it so much. And, like, why... I keep opening it every single day and like going onto my island and doing stuff and I realized that it's basically kind of like a call back to my childhood. Animal Crossing isn't that much different from Tamagotchi's to be honest. Like if you think about it, the essence of it is like a virtual like little environment with little pets that you have. Where in Animal Crossing you obviously don't have pets, you've got villages uh, and it's a bit more advanced. <laughs> I say a bit, a lot more advanced. Alright, I've got two redemptions for Instagram, three redemptions for Instagram. Uh, I'll take a picture for all of you guys after the stream. Um, but yeah, Animal Crossing is very much like a Tamagotchi in the sense that you've got these little villages that are basically pets in a virtual environment that you have. Um, and I used to have a Tamagotchi as a kid, and I think that's kind of why I enjoy it so much. And that made me realize <laughs> that I wanted a Tamagotchi. <laughs> so I started searching eBay and... Um, I made a bid on one yesterday. I'm really hoping that I get it. <laughs> I'm really hoping that I get it because I really want it. But let's just hope that nobody outbids me <laughs> because it's an auction basically. But yeah, I used to have a Tamagotchi and I really want one and hopefully I get one. Uh, someone's asking, is Thomas still making cookies? I think, nah, not really. He chilled out for a bit. I think he's probably going to get back into it at some point, but for the moment, he's a bit chill. He's finally chilled out. He decided that um, he's not able to create the perfect cookie at the moment, and he just let it go. <laughs> at least for a bit. <laughs> at least for a bit. I grew up with Animal Crossing City folks, so the whole franchise has a special place in my heart. That's awesome. I kind of wish that I uh, experienced Animal Crossing as a kid, um, but I never even knew of it. Like, it wasn't even that I didn't have it or anything. Like, I never even heard of it somehow. I have no idea how that happened, but somehow I never even heard of it. Mm. Are you and Thomas in a quarantine bubble? Thomas and I live together. <laughs> we are literally living together. So, we don't even have to bubble. We are one household. Um, that's a UK term. I don't know if anybody else actually uses the quarantine bubble thing. But in the UK, you can have a quarantine bubble with some people outside of your household. But it doesn't apply to us because... Um, we live together. I've done captions from scratch before, I could definitely help you with that. I mean, if you can help me with that, that would be awesome, but I don't think you want to, <laughs> because, like, the video that um, I'm talking about, for example, is the flat alpha video. That is, like, 30 minutes long, and I am talking and talking and talking and talking. I don't think you want to do that from scratch. Um, I'm considering just like hiring someone to do that and like actually like paying someone. The way that I'm doing it right now is I've got volunteers because I can't afford to uh, pay for captions for all of my videos essentially. Like they're not that expensive like if you get professionals but it's still a cost that I just cannot pay. I, I calculated it, I tried. Um, and with volunteers I didn't want to use people for like free labor essentially but uh, it's great to have volunteers and I'm going to be giving them sort of like little gift packages as a, you know, expression of my gratitude. So they're doing it for free, but I really kind of want to express my, express my gratitude. But I also don't want to overwhelm them with doing something from scratch. So I might hire someone for just like those videos that for some reason don't have auto-generated captions. Um, how long will you be streaming? I don't know, somewhere between an hour and a half to two hours, maybe a little bit more. Oh, sorry, Stefan sent me a message on me. Okay, no, nothing serious. I'll reply later. He knows I'm streaming, but I thought maybe it was something serious. Are oh, the Brownie Chronicles next? We already had a Brownies Chronicle. We already had a Brownies Chronicle. We had an episode of like six months where Thomas and I were baking brownies basically every single day and we just couldn't make the perfect brownie. And then we made one once and then we couldn't recreate it anymore. So yeah, don't even, don't even bring that up. <laughs> don't 
don't even bring that up. How is the new house search going? Well, I think we have found our new place. I'm not 100% sure on it. We've put down the holding deposit, uh, which basically secures the place for us. Like, we went and viewed it. Uh, we loved it. I say loved it. We liked it because they're still, like, it doesn't meet 100% of our criteria. I really wanted my own office, um, but this flat isn't laid out that way. So, uh, I'm going to have to compromise and not have my own office, but the room that I would have in that flat is bigger, so I'll be able to have more room uh, for my desk and everything. So, the way that my room is set up now, I basically have to trip over my lights every single time that I have to stand up from my desk and, like, go to the bathroom or the kitchen or whatever. Mm. And with the flat that we were looking at, the room is laid out, the room is bigger, so I won't have to like trip over my lights anymore. <laughs> um, but I won't have an office. But the fact that it's bigger sort of kind of compensates for that, so I am not too uh, fussed about it. Um, but I'm not, <laughs> I'm not confident in saying that we have it yet because, you know, we have been looking for a flat for a pretty long time now, and uh, we've put down probably six or seven offers, and they've all been like, in various stages but eventually declined <clears throat> and I'm just worried that something is gonna go wrong with this one as well but we did view it the landlord was there with us um, when we were viewing it so they the landlord already sort of knows us and hopefully <laughs> likes us I don't know um, and we liked the landlord the landlord was great um, and yeah we've already passed the referencing stage we've put down a holding deposit hopefully we get it if we do get it um, then we would be moving in about a month. Basically around Christmas time. We're moving around Christmas time if we do move. Um, hopefully. Hopefully that goes well. Hopefully that goes well. Oh, Jake subscribed. Hello, Jake. Jake is a friend of mine. Thank you for subscribing again. You're on a full month streak. <laughs> uh, Jake is a friend of mine. Uh, what number is this bracelet? I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I should have um, I should have looked it up. But it's... um. On my to do's on bracelet book, uh, my name on bracelet book is Raccoon, and it's also the challenge bracelet. Um, you can find it linked in the October wrap up video and the challenge announcement. Did I miss any messages? No, I'm pretty sure I already uh, screenshots of that. What other games do you play? I haven't played many games recently, to be honest, like apart from Animal Crossing. Um, but I don't know why. I get into like these. Um, I get really obsessed with something, and then I play it non-stop for a really long time and then I just forget about it for forever um, which has been the case with basically every single game I've ever played <laughs> but I enjoy Stardew Valley, I enjoy City Skylines, I enjoy The Sims 2 specifically, The Sims 3 as well, definitely not The Sims 4. Um, I enjoy Prison Architect, basically games where you have to like build stuff, sandbox games, stuff like that. Uh, I love the kitty washi tape, where'd you get it? Uh, I'm not sure, it's either Amazon or AliExpress. I think this one is Amazon though, but I'm not sure. <laughs> but those are the two places I get my washi tapes. Um, <laughs> uh, why do you and Stefan not live together? Because uh, he's Russian and he doesn't have a visa to come to the UK, at least not yet. Um, when we got married, I thought that there was a quick way that we could do it and turns out that we couldn't do it that way um, so basically we had to go the long route and uh, our main issue for the longest time was the fact that I couldn't meet the financial criteria because I was a student and I wasn't earning much um, but last year I earned just the bare minimum that I needed to off of YouTube to pass the financial criteria. Like literally like probably 50 pounds over the bare minimum that I needed uh, to pass the financial criteria. So now that's sorted, but I need to move to a two bedroom flat and uh, I need the home office to open because with, with lockdown and everything, home office is closed. So they're not taking applications for visas. And then even when that happens, I still need to Basically, it's a very long process. I did a video on my second channel called Why My Husband Doesn't Live With Me Anymore because he lived with us for six months but then had to leave. If you want to watch it, watch that. Uh, it's a bit old, it's like six months old, but the information in there is still relevant, so... Uh, you can watch that if you want to. Uh, it's a mess, essentially. That's the question. <laughs> that's, that's the reason. It's a mess. We're working on it. Mm. Oh, someone highlighted a message. The bracelet number is 59759. Thank you very much. 
Mm, would you rather never pick bracelet colors or never pick your bracelet pattern? Ooh. Ooh. Ask me a would you rather question that I actually want to answer. <laughs> why do you would you rather be like, it's not a direct hit on you specifically, but like just in general. Why do you guys always ask would you rather questions that are designed to make me suffer? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I guess never pick patterns because I think it's more fun to... Uh, First of all, I have a really difficult time picking patterns to begin with. Even when I can pick my patterns, I have a very difficult time picking my patterns. Um, but yeah, picking colors is just like so much, such a big part of the creative process. Says Masha, who is doing a bracelet right now that she didn't pick the colors for. These were the colors in the bracelet pattern, <laughs> but still, <laughs> but still. Uh, Sarah Bell, uh, subscribed with Prime. You're on a two month um, streak. Hi Masha, how are you? I'm doing good, doing good. Thank you so much for your subscription. Thank you, I appreciate it. I'm doing good, and welcome to the subscribe club. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try and stream more. Uh, basically, I'm currently a Twitch affiliate, which means that I can have subscriptions and such, but um, to become a Twitch partner, I have to stream a lot and then get approved to do that. I'm gonna probably try to uh, aim to do that because if I do become a Twitch partner, I can give you guys more emotes. Uh, for being subscribed, I have I only have there can't speak. I only have one currently, but I would love to have more. So maybe I, if I stream more, we can get that to happen. <laughs> mm. If you subscribe with Prime, do you have to pay? Uh, also, I redeemed a follow last stream, and you never followed me. Don't worry, it's not just you from last stream. I didn't follow anyone. I mentioned this earlier in the stream today, uh, uh, but you probably didn't hear it. I didn't follow anybody from last stream. I will follow everybody from last stream and this stream after this stream, and then after that, I'm removing the follow button because it's a bit overwhelming. But um, no, you don't have to. You don't have to pay if you subscribe with Prime. Uh, if you link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch account, um, you can subscribe for free because it just basically goes from your Amazon Prime subscription. <laughs> so if you want to do that, you can do that. Jake says, I've been nagging Masha to stream more often. Don't worry, guys. Yes, that is true. James has been... James. Why did I call you James? Jake has been nagging me to stream more often. <laughs> and hopefully I will this month. I actually wanted to last month. I had a whole streaming schedule planned out for last month, and then I very spontaneously decided to fly to Russia for like three weeks. So that didn't happen, but at some point, at some point. Someone redeemed a follow on TikTok. I will take a picture and follow you after the stream. Also, sorry that you had to do it a second time. Um, I still have the... <laughs> I still have the uh, pictures from last stream. Jake gifted a sub to Silly Goose. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jake. That's awesome. And welcome, Silly Goose, to the sub club. <laughs> uh, Masha, is this going to be a streaming time? I don't have a set streaming time, to be honest. But... Yeah, probably. 5 p.m. seems like a good time to stream because um, people in the U.S. have woken up <laughs> and people in the U.K. are still awake. And um, yeah, probably around 5 p.m. is going to be where I, when I stream. Streaming is weird. Like when you're not in the U.S. because like the majority of my audience is from the U.S. We have like a huge time difference, so it's a bit weird to stream. But yes, I'm a very active cross stitcher, and if you have any questions uh, or need tips, let me know. Awesome, awesome. I'm probably gonna end up uh, watching some like YouTube tutorials, so if you have anyone to recommend, that would be cool as well. Um, I don't think you saw mine, I just asked the question about Prime. What didn't I see? Uh, saw your subs uh, redemption for follow, or what? Did I miss someone? I don't think I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What software are you using to edit your videos? I use Premiere Pro, uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, because I like it. <laughs> she edits on Premiere Pro, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I don't like have a specific preference. I just grew up using Photoshop. I taught myself how to use Photoshop uh, because I was bored one summer and I just taught myself how to use it. And since then I've just been using Adobe products. So yeah. <laughs> what am I doing? incorrectly uh, I find attaching loops with one string really annoying because the bracelet always moves for me yeah to be honest it is pretty annoying um, you might not have noticed but this bracelet definitely moved in the time that I've been streaming so yeah that is definitely definitely annoying but what can you do what can you do what time is it for you it is 535 for me p.m. 
Um, I wouldn't mind doing the captions from scratch. I could do them if you really want to. It might take me a while though. Honestly, like as much as I love that you guys are willing to help me, I cannot, cannot make you do such uh, captions from scratch. Like I, editing them is one thing. Like it's still a pretty big job, but it's, at least it's not something that is so dull. But making you do them from scratch, like I can't force you to do that. I'm, I, I would much rather hire someone um, and like pay for that one video that for some reason doesn't have auto-generated captions. I went into a rant about it early in the stream, <laughs> but that's my kind of idea. Mm. Redeemed a follow on Insta, but you never saw it. Yes, I um, still have the pictures from last stream. I will follow everyone from this stream and from last stream after the stream. And then after that, I'm removing the buttons. Sorry about that, by the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's, it's trying to tell me something. What is it trying to tell me? Sorry, my streaming software is giving me weird errors. Can you still like see me and hear me fine? I'm gonna send this to Jake because hopefully he can let me know what this actually means. <laughs> Sorry, one sec. Because it, 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 it's telling me something and I don't understand what it's saying. And Jake understands streaming better than I do probably, so I'm just gonna send him a DM. If you can hear this. Uh, Jake, please help me. <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, you're fine. It's 10 p.m. in Africa. Time zones are wild. Time zones are wild. Mm -hmm. Do you organize or join any collab or competitions on Instagram? I haven't at the moment. I've done um, a couple of challenges, I think, that other people have posted, but I haven't like officially participated in anything. Maybe at some point. Maybe at some point. Uh, I definitely recommend Phil's next kick. He goes very in depth with a few basic stitches. Do you know what? I'm just gonna take a picture of that, and I will check him out. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, if you don't know what we're talking about, I um, I got a cross stitch pattern, and I basically want to do a video where I try to make cross stitch for the first time, and um, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> what is your favorite nail polish to wear? Probably this one, to be honest. Like I enjoy sort of nude. Ish. This isn't necessarily nude, but you know, pink-ish, nude-ish um, colors and like reds. And this is the one that I like the most. This one and the red one. They're from Essie. This one is all tied up by Essie, which is a weird name, but you know. Um, maybe you could do like ten people and break it up into six minute per person and pay them with bracelet or string. That's essentially what I'm doing now. Like the volunteers that I've got, um, I'm gonna be sending them like little packages. Maybe. Do you know what? I'm just probably going to uh, post about it in the uh, volunteer chat with the captions and ask what they think about it. Because if people actually like genuinely want to do it from scratch, I mean, I'm going to feel bad about it. But if they genuinely want to do it, I guess why not? Mm, okay, Jake said it means your stream is dropping frames. Most likely an OBS server issue. Thank you, Jake. Well, it is what it is. Can't really do anything about it, I guess. At least not now. When are you releasing much? Oh. Oh. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> At some point. I'm a little bit worried about it. Basically, I just want to get my taxes done. And then as when I get my taxes done, I'm going to start thinking about that kind of stuff again. Because I was thinking about much. I designed a bunch of designs for my merch. Um, but I had to stop it because I just... Got a bit overwhelmed with other stuff that I need to do. And right now, my main priority is getting my taxes done without accidentally committing tax fraud because I genuinely don't want to do that. And it's it's a lot. I've never done taxes before. I have no idea how to do it. And I'm very confused. <laughs> so um, I need to get that done first. And then I'll start thinking about everything else. I have two big tests. One of them is tomorrow. And I'm not good at either of the subjects. So I'm really worried that I'll do bad. I'm at a new school and I want to make a good impression. Oh, good luck! Honestly, like, the best of luck to you. I'm sure you'll do fine. Try not to stress about it too much. Maybe prepare a little bit. And, um, good luck. <laughs> Is your Discord for patrons only? I have, um, yeah. I mean, I have two Discord servers at the moment. I've got the Patreon one and I've got the Captions one. I'm thinking about opening a public Discord server. 
but I I'm also really stressed about that because it's a lot to maintain. I'm I'm on Claire's Discord server. Claire has a Discord server. I'm on it. I pop in the chat every once in a while. I scroll through the patterns and such every once in a while. Mm, and I think that Claire did a great job actually creating a Discord server that's great for like a great resource for bracelet makers because you can find help and you can find a bunch of cool patterns from like different places and such um but maybe i will create my own at some point when are you getting your play button i have no idea to be honest i still haven't gotten the redemption code for it because the way that it works uh within like youtube you have to order your play button um on their website but you have to get a redemption code for it and they're supposed to send it to you like a week ish or a couple of weeks after you hit 100k and I hit 100k like several weeks ago and I still haven't gotten my redemption code uh, so I don't know I haven't even ordered it yet but hopefully <laughs> I'll get it at some point are you planning on doing anything special for 100k subs I wanted to originally but then it never happened uh, I still I want to do a competition but I'm, it's probably just not not gonna be for it was originally planned to be for 100 subs but I've already hit that um, so I'm just probably going to make one at some point later, unrelated unrelated to the uh, subs. Am I doing this right? I think I am. Are you going to put this uh, on your other channel? Yes, this is going on the Masha Streams channel. This stream is going on the Masha Streams channel. Mm. I don't have Discord either. You should get Discord. Discord is a great place to be. Um... Like, even for, like, it's mostly used by gamers, but even for bracelet makers, like, I'm saying, um, I was talking about Claire's server. Claire's server on Discord is amazing. For bracelet makers. It's a fun place to be. When will the merch be out? At some point. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm trying to get it done, but as soon as I get my taxes done, I'll have more time to actually focus on it. So, at some point. At some point. Mmm... I redeemed a follow on last stream, but you never took a pic of it. I'll take a picture of it now and follow you after the stream. Sorry about that. Discord is a great place for meeting people with similar interests. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, I'm thinking of making my own Discord. Should I do my own Discord server? Like, I don't want to... Basically, my main thing is I don't want to make a Discord server for bracelet makers to sort of find help and such, because that is going to be a pain to maintain and also that already exists with Claire's server but I might just make like a server that is just to chat essentially like just for my followers and such to just chat maybe maybe I don't know <laughs> I don't know yes you should do your own okay well maybe maybe plus it will be um like we could play among us or something I don't know <laughs> I already had a follow like a month ago and I never got followed. I'm sorry, if it was from last stream, I didn't follow anybody from last stream. Uh, I'll follow everybody from last and this stream after this stream. I'm sorry, this is why I'm going to remove the button. Because I am really bad at following through with this follow thing. So yeah, I'm going to be removing it because I get really overwhelmed. Every single time I open my photos and I see like there's a bunch of redemptions, I get really overwhelmed. So yeah, I'm going to be removing the button after this stream. So if you want to use your points to get a follow then you should do it now because next stream it's not gonna be there also there is a knot here I need to untie this I hate it when this happens it's such a mess <laughs> oh my god ah I've got long nails now. I mean not super long but longish nails now and I can't properly untie the knot because every single time I try it starts to fray Oh my god, this is annoying. This is annoying, but I think I got it. Also, don't you hate it like when you're trying to untie a knot like this, and then the knot starts to fray? And so you... Okay, I think that's literally just what happened to me. So you start grabbing it, and then you realize that you grabbed only a couple of strands out of the string, and not the actual string itself, because it frayed. And I'm pretty sure that's just what happened to me now. And then you start untying it, but the knot sort of unties on some of the strands and then ties tighter on some of the other strands, and it's just an overall mess. I hate it when that happens. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm hitting my light. 
Thank you means a lot and I'll be the first sale for merch. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Uh, removing the button, not the gumdrop button. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm going to be removing the buttons for the follow me. Because they're a bit much. You should totally do your own. Don't do it if you can't maintain it. I don't know if I can maintain it. Like, that's the point. I don't know. Like, you really won't know unless you try. Maybe I'll do it and then if it doesn't work out, I'll get rid of it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh, someone changed their username on Instagram. Okay, I'll take a picture of it. I'll take a picture of it. I can hear Thomas in his room watching Gravity Falls. And I'm so excited. Because Gravity Falls is like one of my favorite shows of all time. And he's watching it for the first time. Like he came into my room yesterday and he was like, Oh, do you know what? I've been hearing a lot about this show. It's called Gravity Falls. Like, should I, should I watch it? And I'm like, yes, <laughs> yes, please watch it. I love it so much. It's one of my favorite shows and I want to talk about it. Uh, so he's watching it right now. Like I can probably hear, if I listen closely, I can probably figure out what episode he's on. Because I don't think he closed his door, <laughs> which is why I can hear him so well. The gumdrop button is from Shrek films. I've watched all the Shrek films, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Probably because I watched them in Russian, to be honest. I was in Russia when they were coming out, at least some of them. So I probably just have no idea what you're talking about. I've never seen Gravity Falls! Oh no, you should watch that. Fix that. That. Fix it. <laughs> my friends and my brother tell me to watch it so much. It's a great show, honestly. Like, it's... Do you know what? It's one of those shows that, um... Sorry, I think I just made a mistake, but... I... No, I didn't make a mistake. It's one of those shows that is rare that they didn't decide to extend beyond what it had to be. Does that even make sense? Like, you know some shows, they just drag it out past the point where they should have stopped. Like, you know what I'm talking about. You know exactly what shows I'm talking about. Like, some shows should have ended years before they actually did. Uh, and Gravity Falls is one of those shows that had a story to tell, they told that story, and they finished. It's only two seasons long. Gravity Falls only has two seasons, which is sad because I love it and I want it to go on for longer. But I respect that they had a story to tell, they told that story, and that was it. Um, and I definitely recommend watching it because it's very well structured, I think. What is it about? It's about um, twins, a boy and a girl, who go to their great uncle for the summer and it's about their adventures during the summer and uh, there's a lot of different mysteries surrounding their adventures and uh, they stumble upon some very mysterious things and it's it's a great like it's amazing like it's just good um it's so good in fact that it has like a bunch of like hidden puzzles within the show and um i'm pretty sure there's people to this day trying to decipher different puzzles and such um, from the show. There's so many like videos on the internet with theories and the puzzles that they've solved they hid different clues and like the opening title sequence and then within the show itself it's just it's just awesome. So yeah, I definitely recommend it. I think it's great. Like they know when to stop. That's admirable. Admir I can't pronounce that word. That's admirable. <laughs> Yeah, because it was making a lot of money and they could have just kept going. Exactly, I respect that. Like, I'm sad about it because I loved it and I definitely would have wanted it to go on. But I respect it that they finished it when they did because, to be honest, if they went on, it would probably just have been bad anyway, so. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I can't get those strings to separate. Uh, yeah, Friends shouldn't have gone on for 10 seasons. I think it should have ended at season 7. Yeah, Friends is definitely a show that was stretched out. I think The Big Bang Theory was stretched out. I think How I Met Your Mother was stretched out. What else? Like, a lot of shows, but that's just what comes to mind. Mm, what else can I say that about? I don't know. A lot of shows do that, and that's sad. And that's sad. Mm -hmm. Marsha, I could do the captions without any problem. It's a great time passer for me. 
DM me on Instagram and tell me that you are bracelets not seven <laughs> from Twitch. DM me on Instagram. I'll I'll, I'll send you a link. Mm -hmm. That sounds right up my alley. I'll definitely have to watch. Yeah, definitely give it a watch. It's really fun. Like it's it's short. You know, it's like forty episodes. They're all twenty minutes long. It's two seasons. It's something that you. I enjoy rewatching it every once in a while. Like it's it's just it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> Masha, thank you so much for showing me how to use a ruler in alphas. It has helped me so much. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. 13 reasons why it was stretched out so much. I am just going to believe you. Because <laughs> I've never watched it. But I will believe you. In a previous stream, you mentioned that you are bi. And I was wondering if you ever came out to your parents and or your husband. And if uh, you did, how did they react? Uh, if this is personal, you don't have to ask. I'm pretty open about it. It's fine. Um, I, I only realized that I was after like a few years of dating Stefan. <laughs> so that was fun. Um, oh. I just moved my camera. Yeah, he knows. Basically, I think... I don't know if I've told my parents. I don't feel like it's a relevant thing to me anymore. You know what I mean? Like, I'm married, so it's not like it's gonna change anything in my life. So I never had to, like, come out. Because it's just kind of not a relevant part of my life. It's just a thing that I am. Um, but yeah, Stefan definitely knows because, like, we talk about <laughs> girls together sometimes. <laughs> but, um... I think I told my mom at some point, like, nobody really cares. Like, it's not a thing that is relevant to my life, so it's not an issue or a thing. Mm. I found a rewatching shows helps anxieties because you know what happens. Yeah, probably. And also, like, it's just so homey. I don't know how to describe it, but, like, I feel at home when I watch them. Um, like, not... Gravity Falls specifically, although that too, but just shows that I like a lot. Um, so yeah, it, I think it helps. I think it helps. Mm. I, am I doing this correctly? Because I'm reading the chat. I'm barely even looking at the bracelet itself. <laughs> I'm just staring at the chat. I have no idea if I'm making a mistake here. If you guys notice at some point that I'm making a mistake, please tell me <laughs> because I cannot see. I cannot see, but I think it's fine. I think I'm good. There we go. But yeah, we were uh, talking with my patrons earlier today on the Discord about games. Basically, I said how I... I mentioned this earlier in the stream, if you remember, that I put a... I'm trying to buy a Tamagotchi. I'm trying to buy a specific Tamagotchi that I had. Mm. I mean, I actually wanted to buy the exact version that I had. Like, the exact model and the exact design that I had, but I can't find it anywhere. Um, so I ended up- Oh, Queen of Sarcasm subscribed with Prime! Thank you very much! You're on a three-month streak, that's awesome! Thank you, thank you. Um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, I wanted to get the exact design that I had, but I cannot find it anywhere. No, basically nobody is selling the model that I want, because there's a million different Tamagotchis. Basically nobody is selling the exact model that I want. Um let alone the exact design like the exact there's a, a different generations of it and I want a specific generation and nobody's selling it but I found one yesterday and uh, I talked about it with my patrons and we went into a whole discussion of like toys that we had in our childhoods and oh my god there's so many toys that I had as a kid that I completely forgot about um and it's Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I also found like a YouTube video about it like someone was um there's this guy on YouTube who buys out these toys um, sorry, I'm just gonna take off my jacket because I'm under the lights and it's really hot. My hoodie. Yeah, give me a sec. Ooh. But yeah, there's a guy on YouTube who's tracking down toys that were popular in the 2000s and like the 90s. Um, and he buys them and he makes videos about them. So he got the robotic dog. Uh, he got the, um, you, if any of you remember, the little like cubes. There were these toys that were basically cubes, and you had like stick figure men in them, um, or stick figure people, they were genderless, <laughs> like stick figure people inside of cubes, and they were magnetic, and you could get like multiple different cubes, magnet them together, and then like on top of each other, and then when you magnet them together, they like can interact with one another, so if one of them is like playing ball, like, he would start throwing the ball to the one on the other screen, and they could interact with one another, and then they could go visit each other, and it was like this whole cube world. 
Um, I always wanted that as a kid. I don't know if anybody even knows what I'm talking about, but <laughs> I always wanted them as a kid. I never had them, and they were, honestly they were kind of expensive because like you had to buy individual cubes, but in order to actually like play with them and have fun, you would have to have multiple of them because the entire purpose of them is to see how they interact with one another. And so it was kind of expensive to get like a lot of them. Um, but I, I really wanted them as a kid. I never had them. I really wanted them. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that people remember. <laughs> um, so there's that. We we talked about that for a bit. Um, and also, there was this uh, game called uh, Pixel Chicks, I think it is. Um, where basically it was like this plastic dollhouse. Like a small, well, like this size-ish plastic dollhouse that had a physical house kind of modeled uh, behind it but there was also a screen on top of it um and like the girls the pixel chicks would like walk around on screen and interact with the like she would have a sofa that was actually physically there but the pixel girl on the screen would sort of like come up and sit on it there was like a fridge she could open the fridge get food out of the fridge and stuff like that and then you could also connect different pixel chicks together um so they could also visit each other and then i think there was like a house and a mall and you could get all that stuff i never had that as well uh, i think my friend my friend had one and i remember like being obsessed with it um but i never had that so yeah i just i we got to talking about like the different oh my color popped through we got to talking about like the different toys we had in our childhood and it's just oh, so nostalgic i really want that tamagotchi honestly i really really want that tamagotchi <laughs> i'm i really want it i hope the bid goes through <laughs> eat candy or baked goods for the rest of your life Ooh, baked goods baked goods are better like croissants with chocolate yeah mm. could you play among us with us like put the code on the screen if i put the code on the screen then people are gonna cheat but at some point maybe <laughs> i think i might find a group of people and just uh, play with them on stream at some point Mm. But yeah, oh my god, like, 2000s and 90s toys were so good. I mean, maybe they are now. I have no idea. I have no idea what toys exist now. <laughs> so maybe there are still good toys now. But I just, remembering back, they just, oh. I loved the toys of my childhood. I'm so sad that I can't have them <laughs> now. So I wanted you to follow on Insta, I'll uh, take a picture and follow you after the stream. There you go, took a picture of it. Mm. I wanted to talk about another toy but now I forgot what I wanted to say. There was like a specific one that I wanted to talk about and I can't remember. Oh well, things happen, things happen. Uh, you should talk more about shows because I need new recommendations. <laughs> well. <laughs> Um, I'm re-watching House at the moment. I see re-watching. I'm kind of watching it for the first time, to be honest. I watched it a bunch uh, with Stefan because he was watching it, but because he was watching it, I sort of only watched every once in a while, and so I ended up, uh, like, watching only, like, a couple of episodes. <laughs> so I'm kind of re-watching it, kind of watching it for the first time because I've seen a lot of the episodes, but I never saw them chronologically, and I'm... So if you want to watch House, House is a great show. Littlest Pet Shop. Oh, I used to have Littlest Pet Shop. Do those exist? Does Littlest Pet Shop exist still? I used to have them. I used to collect them. And I would pay with it from, like, pocket money. I, I When Littlest Pet Shop happened, I was a little bit older. I think I was, like... Well, I say older. I was still, like, 11. 10, 11. Something like that. Um, but the other stuff was when I was, like, 6, 8. Anyway... Um, but yeah, the Littlest Pet Shop, I, I used to collect my own pocket money, I would get like a, a set, like, small amount a week, uh, and then I would like collect it for weeks and weeks and weeks to be able to buy the Littlest Pet Shop, and I used to have like the dog and the cat, they still exist somewhere, I swear they're somewhere in my uh, parents' house, I need to find them, they still do, oh, I need to, I need to find them, does anyone remember Shopkins? I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know what that is. Um, Polly Pockets, yes, I used to have Polly Pockets as well. I used to love Polly Pocket. I used to have the limo of Polly, like if you, who's that? 
Oh, that's my sister. She's just sending me pictures. I'll have a look later. Uh, I used to have a like the Polly Pocket limo. There was like a limo with um, like a jacuzzi at the back and a TV, uh, and I used to have that and play with it. Oh, that was that was fun. That was fun. Mm. Would you rather be in, uh, would you rather be forced to not forever or forced to crochet forever? <laughs> forced to not forever. I don't even know how to crochet. That would be just absolutely torturous. <laughs> They made a show! Oh my god! I need to check it out. I'm, I know what I'm doing after the stream. How was Russia? Russia was lovely, thank you. I had a great time. Um, I ended up having a much longer time than I expected, but I had a great time. I saw some of my friends, I got to see my parents, and it was it was great. I had to do a COVID test uh, when I landed, uh, so that was fun. But, hope, I mean, I said hopefully. Well, not hopefully, I know the results. I'm not hoping for anything. The results were negative. <laughs> Uh, you had the limo, I always wanted that one. Yeah, that was the only accessory that I had, but I did have that. I got it for like one of my birthdays, I think. Uh, and I loved it. I loved it. Uh, please make a video about them. About what? Mm. I had the jacuzzi Polly Pocket thing you were talking about. Yeah, it was great. It was great. It was great. I used to love playing um, like the online games as well. Does anybody know um, Nitrome? Like the Nitrome games? Does anybody know what I'm talking about if I say that? It's Nitrome. I think that's a UK thing. I mean, it's, it's .co.uk. I don't know if anybody knows that, but uh, I used to play Nitrome uh, games a lot. Mini clip games I used to play a lot, if anybody knows what I'm talking about. Um, I love them, yeah, I love them a lot. Um, I used to play Club Penguin, I was obsessed with Club Penguin as a kid. I used to play it, I was so sad when Club Penguin died, and then I realized that <laughs> someone re-uploaded it. So Club Penguin still exists, just not officially. You can still find it and play it, just not officially, so I've been doing that. I went through like a bit of a phase last year uh, when I just played Club Penguin a lot. Um, I remember Nitro from Miniclip. Yes, though they were my favorite. I'm glad someone remembers them. Remember Moshi Monsters. Moshi Monsters came around when I was a bit older. Um, I mean, I was still young, but I think Moshi Monsters happened when I was like 13-ish. Um, oh. Yeah, that was the wrong, right one. Uh, so I didn't play it a lot, but I did have them, and I had the little red fiery like devil character <laughs> i like them i like them a lot but i never was i was never into mushy monsters as much as i was into the other stuff uh mush i could do the captions without any problem it's a great time pass for me dm me on instagram dm me on instagram i'll dm you back after the stream um have you done a tried embroidery i picked it up two weeks ago i really want to try it but i've never tried it club penguin closed a few weeks after i turned 18 and it was the true end of my childhood Yes, I I was so devastated about it, but it exists. Like if you want to play it, you can find it um, online. I don't remember the specific name of the website, but if you just Google like Club Penguin reuploaded or something like that, I'm sure you'll find it. Um, and uh, you don't even have to pay for the memberships for that. Like they've basically like hacked it, <laughs> and everyone has a membership, so you can play it without having a membership as well. Um. I'm way too young to know what most of this stuff is. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a nostalgia trip today. I'm in a bit of a nostalgia trip. Uh, you should stream along us with your patrons. I, I might do that, actually, yeah. Papa's Pizzeria! I played that! Yes, I remember that. I played it. Oh, I loved it! I was so scared with the pizzas, though. Like, I used to play it when I was, like, a little kid. And I was scared of the... I was scared of the... Dude. <laughs> Oh my god. Did anyone play Purple Place? I did, but not because I played it. Uh, basically, my little sister was like a young child at that point and she was playing it. Um, so I ended up playing it a bit as well. If I'm remembering it correctly, the Purple Place was like a PC game, right? Like it was already in the Windows. It's like one of those Windows games that kind of is pre-existent in the... Um, in, in Windows computers, but yeah, I, I remember baking cakes mostly <laughs> in Purple Place. Am I remembering that right? Because I don't remember it. 
Does it exist still? Does, can you play Purple Place? The Freezeria. Is that is that it? I don't remember. I was like, I. It, it's such a vague memory at this point that I just can barely remember it. <laughs> they keep making more of Papa's. Oh, do you know what? We might do a stream. Like in a couple of days, maybe we should stream like some of these games. I can just sit down and like play Club Penguin or play Papa's Pizzeria or maybe like some Nitrum games or something and we can just like chat about our childhoods and reminisce <laughs> and think about how great it was to be a kid. <laughs> uh, literally cool math games. Oh, do you know what? I used to play some like educational games. Um. Oh, is that what you're saying? Is that a website? Cool Math? Is that a website? I don't know if that was a website. Um, I, I I don't know what that is. Is that a website? Was a com was computer lab vibes? It's a website. I need to check it out. Um, I was gonna say that I used to play some like educational games as well because my dad was obsessed with getting me educational stuff. Uh, I used to play like educational games like. I don't know if this is UK specific or if it exists everywhere. I'm pretty sure it, there's like different versions of it, but like the Jump Ahead games, like the Jump Ahead Year One with the a sausage dog, is that how you call them? Like the skinny, long, little sausage dogs. Is that how you say it in English? We call them sausage dogs in Russian. <laughs> but um, the Jump Ahead games, where I don't know if anybody even knows what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, like, it would have, like, a bunch... It was, like, basically, like, a classroom, and uh, you had to do different tasks to... It was actually really fun. Like, that was a... You would think that it wasn't fun, because, like, you had to do reading and math and whatnot, but it was actually really fun, and I loved it a lot. There were different, like... There was this game uh, that tried to teach you fractions, um, where you were basically, like, the cafeteria lady uh, in the school cafeteria and people would come in with different fractions drawn on their trays and you would have to fill in their food they were like oh i want half a tray of uh, i don't know mash uh, a quarter of a tray of peas a quarter of a tray of uh, i don't know potatoes something and you would have to like figure out how to do that i had leapfrog as well yes that one as well or am I understanding it wrong? Because I might be thinking about something else. The Leapfrog was a game, was it not? Am I thinking of something else? Because I think... I'm thinking of the games where there was, like, a frog as well. It was one of those educational games as well. I might be understanding you wrong, to be honest. Mm. I know the change... Of, blah, blah, blah. I know change of subject, but for next monthly challenges, Masha should do the normal pattern to freestyle and make your own pattern. I'll think about it, I'll think about it. Although, to be honest, next monthly challenge is going to be December, so it's probably just going to be uh, seasonal, but maybe for January. Leaf Frog was a frog book with a pen, and you had to, uh, that you, that, that read to you or something like, let me Google it. Sorry, I'm just going to be quiet for a bit, um, but let me Google it. Leap Frog. With a pen. Ooh. This is what it looks like for anybody who doesn't know. Is the camera's gonna focus? Yeah, there it is. Well, so you can see my lights. <laughs> I don't think I ever saw this. I never had this. No, I was thinking of something completely different. Um, I was thinking about a game. Which I can't find now. Maybe for a game, maybe? If I Google that. No. Anyway, I was thinking about a game. It was like another educational game with like the frogs. I, I don't know. Just ignore me. <laughs> Those are the new ones. They look so different now. Oh, okay. The older ones um, were different. These are the high tech ones. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the snowflakes that are falling are pretty fat. You have snow? I don't have snow yet. I mean, to be fair, I live in London now. We don't get snow ever. But even in Russia, I don't think they have snow yet. It's like the little iPad. <laughs> the old ones were so fat. Oh, do you know what? That You said the little, like, book thing that you had. Like, a 
pen for. That reminded me, I don't know what they were called, but there used to be like these books that would read aloud to you, like one of those, what was it called? Basically you have like a physical book, you inserted it into like this thing, and you inserted the story cartridge into the thing, or the story game into the thing, and the book would read aloud to you, like it could tell when you were turning the pages and it would read aloud to you. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? And then you had like little buttons that you could press as well. That was a leapfrog. Was that the leapfrog? Really? Is that what I'm thinking of? <laughs> I, I, I had them, um... Oh, okay. Okay, that is the leapfrog. Okay, let me, maybe if I Google leapfrog. Mm, no wonder it gave me that. Leapfrog, like, 2005? If I just Google that. Leapfrog leap pad. Yes. Oh, yeah. Is it this? Thing? I think it might be this. I can't remember it very well because it was my sister's. It wasn't mine. My little sister had it. Um, like, I used it as well, obviously, but I barely remember it. Oh, yeah, it did have a pen, didn't it? Yes, yeah, this thing. Oh my god, I forgot this existed. You guys are helping me like unearth memories that I didn't realize that I had. <laughs> oh my god. This is crazy. Did anyone play the Henry Stickman games? I did. I played everything, oh my god. Uh, although to be fair, I was much older. Um, I know that they were like a thing ages ago, but I, I was like, I played them like five years ago. <laughs> So I was much older. This was very recent for me, the Henry Stickman games, but they're really fun. Um, I think I still have mine in the attic. <laughs> Couldn't get a real dog, so I got Nintendo dogs. I never had a Nintendo growing up. Uh, I had friends that had them. I had friends with like Nintendo DS's, and uh, I used to play Cooking Mama on their DS's because I really liked Cooking Mama. <laughs> but I never had a DS growing up or anything like that. What are your plans for Christmas festive videos? Uh, well, one of them is definitely going to be the cross stitch video because the pattern itself is sort of like a Christmas vibe. But I don't have any other plans yet. I'm thinking. If you have any suggestions, let me know. You missed my would you rather- Oh, I'm so sorry. Would you rather eat food forever or never eat it? <laughs> oh my god. Are you wanna- Do you wanna kill me? Like, both of those options are probably gonna have me killed. Either from overeating or not eating. <laughs> but probably overeating. That's probably gonna get me to last longer. But both of those options are gonna have me dead by the end of them. Uh, I just finished a challenge. Finish the challenged one. That I can't speak. Finish the challenge one. Congrats. <laughs> have you played the newest game of Henry Stickman? I don't think so. The last time I played it was like five years ago. Is there a new one? I might play it. Um. I still play Cooking Mama. <laughs> Cooking Mama is great. I, I used to have a lot of fun with it. Mm. We're supposed to get four inches of snow from this storm alone. Oh, wow. I don't know if you're happy about it or not, but good luck, I guess. Mm. How about Game Boy Color? All oh, those times. I never used to have that. I never used to have any consoles. Growing up, I didn't have a console at all. I didn't have any. Um, the first console that I've ever owned is the Switch that I got last month. <laughs> I never had. Oh, no, that's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. I used to have a Wii. But even that I got pretty late in the game. I was like 13. So I was already technically a teen. Uh, but yeah. I used to I used to have... Um, well, I still have it technically. It's in my parents' house. But I used to have the Wii. Not worth it. Ah, no, I like the Wii. I had the Wii Fitness as well. Uh, where I used to cycle a lot. Um, <laughs> uh, I think I had Cooking Mama on Wii. I had, um, I had a lot of Wii games. I used to like the Wii quite a lot. I used to like Wii Sports a lot. That was fun. And then a friend of mine also had a Wii and we would play like party games on it whenever I would visit. That was fun. Mm. The Wii was great. We still play it sometimes. The Wii Sports was fun. I lost the disc to Wii Sports. I would really want to play Wii Sports. I was so good at the boxing sports thing. 
I always was top of everything at the, with the boxing. Yeah, uh, I used to really like the Wii Sports, but I lost it. But we still have the Wii Fitness. Um, like whenever I visit my parents' house, we always play the Wii together, and we would compete. Um, my dad is really into the. Um, in the Wii Fitness, there's a game where you basically have to like fly, and you can like flap your arms, uh, like essentially flap your wings in the game and fly and have to land on like specific areas my dad loves that and then there's also one where you have to balance to be able to hit um balls like with your head that's basically like people throwing balls at you and, and then there's also people throwing shoes and stuff at you and you have to dodge the shoes and the bad stuff and hit the balls and it's basically a game of balance and he loves that as well he's really good at it uh Oh, sorry, I meant to write favorite food. Would you like to always eat it or never eat it? Well, that's easy. Always eat my favorite food. Because <laughs> I have a lot of different favorite foods. I don't have a specific favorite foods. I probably won't get bored of it. Because I could alternate between my favorite foods. So definitely that. You should do reading your followers' to-dos uh, on Bracebook for holiday patterns. Do you know what? <laughs> I posted about that like a month ago that I was going to read you guys' to-dos and a bunch of you commented on that forum post on Bracebook. And then I never filmed that because basically that was a couple of days before I was leaving to go to Russia and I was planning on filming a couple of videos um, so that I could um, edit them while I was in Russia. But I ended up making a mistake filming the Not With Me for the Poisoned Apple and I had to like end the tutorial for the Triangle Ends off of the loop, which is the next video that I'm posting by the way, probably tomorrow, maybe not. Um, but yeah, I made a mistake doing that and so I had to refilm a bunch. <laughs> So I ended up not having time to do that, but maybe, maybe. I'm eating jalapeno Cheetos. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> I love this pattern. I quite like this pattern as well. I'm, I'm quite glad. I'm glad that I'm making it. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Um, I was in a bracelet on for a bit. Like, I didn't make a bracelet for over a month. But I'm quite enjoying this. I think I'm going to finish it quite quickly. Uh, just because it's not huge. Um, but I don't know what to do after that. Oh, Sima Oli! Sima Oli cheered one bit. Thank you! <laughs> thank you. I still don't understand bits very well, but thank you nonetheless. It's cute. It's a little unicorn. I need to move this bracelet up, but to do that I have to untie the entire thing. Well, not untie, un untape. Oh, I don't want to do this, but I have to. I'm going to move you guys for a sec. Just a little bit, because I need to untape this. Hey, by the way, loved your string hole video, Masha. Oh, I'm glad you did. I almost didn't want to post it, to be honest. Um, because I didn't think it was that interesting. Like, I only really bought block colors. But I've been getting comments that people enjoyed it, so I'm glad that I did. That's it in the end. It never snows where I live. I haven't seen snow in, like, five years. Oh, that's sad. Last time it snowed in London was, um, three years ago. <laughs> Three years ago. But, um, hopefully it snows this year. I mean, to be honest, London, England in general, isn't equipped to deal with snow. Is this going well? I think it is. This is going well, right? I think it looks nice. It's kind of cute. I thought about changing the colors and making, like, a different color. Um... But I ended up going with the ones that were in the design already because I like them and I'm in a slump right now So I wasn't really feeling that inspired to pick out my own colors. It's a bit wonky to be honest on the edges, but It's fine. I like it. I think it's cute. I think it's cute. Might make a tutorial for it. People have been asking me to do a tutorial for it Maybe maybe I'm not sure Anyway, what was I saying? Um, it barely snows in England and when it does the UK is so not equipped to deal with snow that it's absolutely hilarious to someone that comes from Russia who has to deal with snow every year. I find it absolutely fascinating how unprepared England is to snow. And I find it fascinating because it's like, okay, yeah, it barely ever snows in the UK. I agree. But it does happen. How, when it happens, do you as a country always react as if like, oh, nobody expected this to happen? Like, it's to the point where the country shuts down. Transport shuts down. There are no buses running. There are no trains running throughout the entire country. Sometimes they even stop planes 
from running when it snows. And it's like, how do you shut down an entire country? They, uh, last year when it snowed, last time when it snowed, in 2017, they issued, like, a public service announcement to tell people to stay home and only go out in, like, dire situations where, like, they need to go out. And it's like, what? Like, what? What? How are you as a country reacting with such shock whenever snow falls from the ground as if you never knew this could ever possibly happen? But it happens, like... I, it doesn't happen every year, I agree, but it happens sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, it... I don't know. It's just weird. It doesn't make any sense to me. It doesn't make any sense to me. Everyone freaks out, like, it's just so... Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> oh my god. Let me take this. There we go. And let's get this nice pretty washi tape back on. Also, now that I've taped this, it's not horizontal, it's kind of at an angle to me, and I hate it. But it is what it is, I'm not fixing that. <laughs> I'll make it horizontal for you guys, but it's not horizontal for me, it's like at a bit of an angle. And that's annoying. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just reading the chat. Are there any updates on the pattern generator? Uh, not at the moment. There are no updates. I'm waiting um, to get some help from the Brace Book admin, and he's a bit busy right now, so we can't seem to get a time where we're both available to work on it. Uh, that washi tape is so pretty. Thank you! Um, have you ever bought thread from Creation Chaos on Instagram? I personally haven't. I know that... Claire has a lot and she loves it. I personally haven't, but that's because I live in the UK and shipping is a lot. So let me get some water, one sec. And just... One, oh my god, I only have like a tiny bit, but whatever. Mm. Mm. That looks like tape I've got. I have so many that I can't remember which ones I have anymore. Honestly, I can relate. I obsessed over... Oh yeah, someone already in the follow, so sorry. Uh, let me take a picture of it. Sorry about that, I got it. Um, I obsessed over washi tape. Like, I had a pretty big face where I was obsessed with washi tape and I used to buy, like, so much of it and now I have so much <laughs> that I don't know what I have and what I don't. Um, when is your merch coming out? At some point. <laughs> I'm thinking January, I'm hoping January, but we will see, I don't know. Do you know what? I, I find it fascinating. YouTubers are so different. Like, everyone on YouTube always says that, like, December is the best month for them because uh, they, oh, like, they earn so much money in December. December is great. Like, you earn twice as much in December because of, like, the Christmas and holiday ads. My viewership drops as soon as, like, October, November happens. Probably because people go to school and they're not making bracelets anymore. But my viewership drops. So, and, and of course, with that, my earnings drop pretty significantly. I'm earning, like, less than half of what I did during the summer now. And December is probably one of my worst months historically. And I find it really fascinating how, like, different YouTubers experience the same platform in different ways. Like, everyone seems to think that December is, like, the best month. But for me, it really isn't. <laughs> I don't know why I started thinking about that. But, um, there you go. There's a piece of information for you. Uh... What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? There we go. Uh, what phone do you have? I've got the iPhone XR, I think. Yes. I got it last year, and I'm pretty happy. Don't ask me whether I like iPhone or Android better. I hate that debate. I had both. I like both. I don't really care that much. This is the first iPhone that I've had, by the way. I used to have Android before then. Um, I quite enjoy both of them. The only reason I got an iPhone was because I wanted to try it, because I've never had it before. I don't have a specific preference, so don't even try that. <laughs> uh, I'm from New England and winter's here at Awesome. I hope there's a blizzard this winter. That's an interesting thing to say, usually people don't hope for that. But um, I mean, I hope it does for you if you want it. Uh, maybe you should do bracelet Christmas ideas video. Oh, that's actually an interesting one, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Uh, I'm going to be tie-dye string. 
What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm confused. I am confusion. Uh, my guess is also because friendship bracelets are kind of a summer thing. Yeah, my viewership goes up in the summer. Summer is um, the best time for me, essentially. Which is weird, because traditionally summer is the worst time for YouTubers. Like, my viewership flips. Like, people view me, not view me, watch my videos uh, over the summer and then they don't over, like, autumn and winter whereas for other youtubers it's exactly opposite which is i find that quite interesting <laughs> there are summer camp craft and i think people get too busy with school and uh as much to make them when school starts yeah i mean that's my theory as well that is my theory as well but it is what it is that's why i was kind of saving money throughout all of summer because um basically like people were watching my videos more so i was earning a little bit more than i actually needed to provide for myself um, so I ended up saving money all throughout summer so I can actually make it through the winter because my winter viewership drops drastically. Like, the, without going into details, but the amount of money that I earned um, last month, to be fair, I barely posted last month, but still, the amount of money that I earned last month will be enough to literally just pay rent, and that is it. I won't even be able to like afford bills if it was just that. So I'm really happy that I saved money. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway. Bracelet gift uh, guide video would be cool. What would you want to look like? What, what do you elaborate? Please elaborate. Like, what do you mean by that? Uh, I think we're all on the same with this gift idea. I think bracelets are a good gift. I agree, but what do you mean by like a gift guide? Like what? What does that entail? Maybe how to package bracelets nicely as a gift. Oh, I literally missed the highlighted message that was saying that. Maybe actually, yeah, I could show how I package uh, my bracelets and such to send to people. Hmm. Are there little keychain bracelets that you could do almost like a little ornament? Oh, maybe that, maybe that. How do you know how many points you have? Oh, do you know where the chat bar is? Uh, it should be like to the left of the chat bar or like on the little chat bar thing. I don't know how to describe it. What is a good brand for multicolored string that is available in the UK? Um, I think most, they, I buy majority of my string in Russia because it's cheaper there. I very rarely buy string in the UK, so Despite the fact that I live in the UK, I'm probably not the best person to ask in that sense. Um, DMC definitely has multicolored strings and it's available in the UK, but I think best place is going to be um, Etsy. Etsy is a great place to get string and such. So, Sorry, I'm going to be tie-dyeing string. Ooh, good luck, good luck. Maybe I'll binge some of your videos in winter to give you some views. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, don't do that, but thanks. <laughs> thanks for the sentiment. Uh, but don't do that because it's a lot, you know. Uh, you could do another Christmas vlog like you did last year. I loved it and it was so calm and homey. I probably will, to be honest. I'm probably going to end up doing something like that, yeah. Because I'm going to be sending Christmas cards again this year. Probably not to the same extent that I did last year, because last year I sent Christmas cards to all of my patrons, and this year I have, like, 60 of them. Um, and I literally cannot afford it. If even like if I just paid one pound for shipping, that's sixty pound. That's a lot of pounds. <laughs> so I literally can't afford it anymore. Um, but but maybe something similar. I'm gonna be sending um, Christmas cards to some people. Maybe like easy keychains, earrings, or bracelets that you could do as a Christmas gift, and also uh, how to do pretty cards, etc. Yes, I like that idea. I will think about it. Also, okay, is anybody doing a secret Santa? Like a bracelet secret Santa? Do you know of anybody who's doing that? Uh, who has like a relatively large amount of people doing that? Because I don't want to host one, but I would probably want to participate in one. Mm, if that makes sense. Hmm. I need someone who's like doing one with like a few people, like more than, I don't know how much, but like a, a lot of people. Um, five people, oh, no, five people is not enough. I mean, that's great, but um, 
I would want it to be more people. Like, I want to participate in a secret Santa, but I don't want to host one. Because I just, it's too much work and I, I'm doing taxes. I keep saying that I'm doing taxes. I know people, for people who have already done taxes, my thing with like the excuse that I'm doing my taxes probably doesn't seem like a lot, but I'm really stressed out about it. So I just, I don't have the mental energy and also moving. I'm stressed out about moving. So I just don't have the mental energy to worry about organizing that. But I would want to participate in that. Like I would send something to like a person or two. Hmm. I might ask about it on my Instagram story as well, so if anybody is doing like a bigger one, I would want to participate. Mm. But it is quite hard to organize, to be honest, like, how would you organize one? Sorry, I'm just thinking about it. Because even if I did do my own Secret Santa, like, organization, like, how would I, how would I, how would I? Okay, maybe that's something I can think about. But if so, I, I just want to find someone who's already doing it. <laughs> How many followers do you think you would need to host one? Uh, I have like 2,000 on Instagram. I think that's not quite enough. I mean, I, I could promote it. <laughs> like, if that's something that you would be interested in. I don't think it's... Uh... As important as um, how many followers someone has is I think it's just important of finding the right people uh, we got the secret Santa app you put in your email and emails who you got now I'm more thinking about like how to make sure that everyone has a match how to make sure that um, people's addresses stay like there is privacy where you get the addresses to the correct people but not have them leaked if that makes sense like you have to be very very careful with people's personal data um and then also like what if someone sends a gift and then someone else doesn't what if they get lost in the mail like this is everything that you have to sort of um work out if you're hosting i just don't want to do it uh. I could do all the logistics and stuff for you. Oh, thanks for suggesting that. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I need to think about it. Because I, I want to do one. I was thinking about this last year as well. I really wanted to do one last year, but I ended up not doing that. But I really want to do one. Mmm... If someone actually genuinely wants to do this and like understands okay <laughs> I would be willing to like promote someone if they actually want to do this so like don't worry about like uh, followers and such like if someone genuinely wants to do this and take everything like all the logistics and stuff on onto themselves, I'll, I'll be able to like promote you in like my Instagram stories and like a video of mine, for example, to get more people to join if people are interested. But it has to be someone who is an adult because it's a lot of work. I don't know. I'm just, I'm considering it. Like I'm not, I don't know how to do this properly. You reached your subscription goal. I did. Thank you guys so much. That's awesome. I did. <laughs> it happened to me. Someone sent me a bracelet and it got lost in the mail. It happened to me as well. Um, I sent something and it got lost in the mail and that's really sad. In fact, that has happened to me like multiple times. Uh, I did a gift exchange with a couple of like Russian knotters on Instagram last year. Uh, and um, most of them went through fine. But one of them, she never received a bracelet from me. I sent her like a package. But... Um, <clears throat> It never happened and then um, I also did like a couple of patreon packages never arrived which was really sad I sent them new ones which did but a couple of them just didn't arrive so that has happened before I get like, it, it happens and it's a bit of a mess to deal with I'm 15 but I've talked to you before I'll think about it you know I'll, I'll think about it I need to think <laughs> about it Uh, how long have I been streaming? An hour and a half, okay. 
I have no sense of time. I have absolutely zero sense of time. Like, I, I don't know how much time has passed between different events. <laughs> that would be so cool. Yeah, if anyone wants to, like, host one, please message me on Instagram. I'll, I'll go through my messages after the stream and just, like, look at what people are saying. Hmm. So, yeah. I'm probably gonna go soon, um, because I said I was gonna stream for, like, about an hour and a half, uh, or two hours, but I'm probably, oh, I'm probably gonna go soon because I'm hungry. <laughs> That's literally the reason. I'm just, I'm hungry. <laughs> I wanna eat food. So I'm probably gonna leave in a bit, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna upload this to the Masha Streams channel if you guys wanna watch it again at some point. I DM'd you in July. And you told me to message you again last stream. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I I have a lot of messages in my uh, filtered inbox. In my, how do you, what do you call it? It's not in my inbox, it's in my um, requests. That's what you call it. I have a lot of messages in the requests that I just need to sort through. Mm. This pattern is coming along nicely. I quite enjoy this bracelet. I think it's cute. I'm probably gonna finish it off stream. <clears throat> like for a lot of these um, stream bracelets, I like to um, make start them and like finish them on stream. But I'm probably gonna finish this off stream because I'm trying to push through a bracelet slump. I'll probably start another one and then do that on stream. Later today, I have to take my dog to the vet, and I feel bad because she hates it. Oh, I'm so sad. I hope it goes well for you guys, though. Have a good, good vet visit. And don't worry about it too much. Like, I, she hates it and you feel bad, but you're doing it for her. Show us the entire pattern without the tape, please. I will, um, I will when I finish. How many points to redeem a follow? I don't remember, to be honest, but if you want to redeem a follow, today is your last chance to do it. This stream is your last chance to do it because starting from next, um, stream, I'm going to be removing the follow buttons because they are a lot. Would you not, would you do another stay at home challenge? Probably not because they were taking up like a whole slot a week. Like I was doing them weekly and they took up a video slot a week. And I'm probably just not going to do them because um then I have more free time to do other stuff. So that's it just opens up more like I could do more other videos and uh, I enjoyed doing them for the time that I did, but I think it's uh, time to move on. And do something else. Plus, I'm quite enjoying the monthly challenges because when I did the stay-at-home challenges, I didn't do the monthly challenges and the wrap-ups, and then the structure of the wrap-ups was a bit weird. Anyway, someone redeemed a follow. Let me take a picture of it. Let me take a picture of it. There we go. Am I doing this right? Am I doing this right? I am. Oh, I need to do the black one. There we go. I got a bit lost. The black one goes over this one. This is one of those patterns because it has like backward forward knots um, for the... What am I saying? It has backward forward knots and forward backward knots for when the little like stripes come out. I'm confused by um, the pattern a bit like and even though I'm doing like so many iterations of it I still have to like check the pattern every once in a while to make sure that I'm on track. But <clears throat> that might also be down to the fact that I'm reading the chat and not actually actively looking at the bracelet itself so you know <coughs> sorry i need to drink some water and i don't have water with me so this is fun i've been non-stop watching your videos while making this alpha oh that's awesome i'm glad you're liking my vids i dare you to sing a one line of any song no <laughs> that's not happening i don't like singing in front of people oh someone redeemed a follow let me take a picture i'll follow you after the stream there you go have you done any bracelets with beads i did them as a kid um i've done them as a kid like the <clears throat> i had a little like loom is that what you call like the weaving station and then like you have to like go up and down and up and down like between the stuff i used to do them as a kid but i haven't done them as an adult um oh someone already need another follow Oh no, you didn't. You redeemed a follow, but you didn't put your 
name so let me know what your name is i'm glad you're streaming i'm currently hiding at work and i'm watching your stream for entertainment <laughs> oh, i can relate to that um, i can relate to that um, hey much I want to tell you that you have helped me through so many things. It's crazy to think that I've been watching you for a year. Either way, have a good time. Oh, that's so awesome! I mean, it's not awesome to hear that you've been going through some hard times, but it's awesome to hear that I've helped you. Uh, and honestly, that's amazing to hear. It never gets old. It never gets old to hear. Thank you. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for putting my picture in your video. Oh, that's awesome as well. I'm glad when people actually get to be put in my video because I get like, I think I got like 250 probably more submissions this time and I feel so bad when I pick out this pictures because I want to like show all of them but I can't. But it, it does make me happy to see when people do get featured. <laughs> so that's awesome. All right, I'm probably gonna do, um, I'm probably gonna finish this chevron bit and then go off stream. I can hear the Gravity Falls theme song on Thomas's laptop. And I think he's watching like my favorite episode right now because the theme song's a bit weird. Anyway, okay, I need to... <laughs> ah. uh, I messaged you a while ago about stopping threats from poking through on flat alphas. Is that still working? I don't know what you're talking about, I'm sorry. Uh, Masha, thank you for putting my braces in your October wrap-up video. You don't know how happy I was when I saw my braces. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. How long are you going to be streaming? Yeah, I just said that uh, I'm probably just going to finish this chevron bit and then I'm going to go because it's... I'm hungry. <laughs> I want to eat. Um, I'm excited to see your new collection video. I've seen them all already, but I like your longer videos so I can not while watching it. Yeah, a collection video is happening. In fact, here's a little bit of a spoiler for you. I have all the braces in like this bag so that I don't have to... Like, I have my big collection, obviously, with, like, the huge collection of all the braces that I made ever. Well, not all of them, but, like, all the ones that I have. Um, but I have a little Ziploc bag for the braces that I've made since my last collection video. So, I'm getting ready to film that. It's probably gonna be up soon-ish. Soon-ish. Are you excited to use nail polish now that you don't have to take it off because of work? Yes! Yes, you read my mind. I am very excited about nail polish. To be honest, I'm also lazy, so I'm probably not going to be making, uh, I'm not going to be painting my nails all the time. But yes, this is my first nail polish in a very long time that I don't have to worry about taking off because I don't need to work. <laughs> I'm so glad I quit my job there. Oh my god. Um, I'm probably like 15 to 20 minutes away from uh, 1.5k, and I'm scared I won't be in time. I'm going to leave it just, just a bit. Um, probably not going to be here for 20 minutes, but put your name in the chat, I'll follow you anyway. Mm. Mm -hmm. Can I redeem an insta- yes, um, uh, just put your name in the chat, I'll follow you anyway. <laughs> not everyone, this specific person, because I trust you. Uh, you made- you made like about 30 in 6 months, I make 20, 25 per month, I think I have a problem. <laughs> oh my god. I, yeah, I don't make that many bracelets. Like, people think that I make bracelets all the time. I don't. Like, you see these knotters on Instagram and such who make so many bracelets in a month. Like, I don't. Like, just watch my recent wrap-ups. To be fair, I've been in a bit of a slump. But, like, I don't make that many bracelets. So, yeah. Oh, are we gonna raid anyone? Because usually you guys ask me to raid people. But you didn't ask me today. Are we doing that? Are we doing that? Would you rather cut all your bracelets or make all your bracelets slowly? I'd rather make my bracelets slowly. I don't want to cut my bracelets. <laughs> Alright, I see your username. I took a picture of it. I'll follow you after the stream. So don't worry about redeeming your points. Keep your points. Use them for something else next stream. Um, I'll think of some other point redemption things. Do we want to raid anyone? Because I'm going to go in a bit. Do we want to raid anyone? If we do, who do we want to raid? Oh, is, um, so I saw someone who I follow streaming, but I don't know if they're streaming still. Because um, if they are, maybe I want to stream them. I don't want to raid them. Oh, no. They've already got offline. Alright, do you guys have any suggestions for someone to raid? Maybe someone who's uh, doing some crafting or playing Animal Crossing or doing something like that, I don't know. 
How was Russia? Were things different? Um, things were a little bit different because last time I was in Russia, we stayed in the <clears throat> in Stefan's family country house, which is like in a village. But um, this time we stayed in a flat, which was nice because we were actually in the city. But overall, like it was good. I got to see family and such. It was fun. Someone playing Among Us. Nah, nah. Among Us is fun, but I want to raid someone who's like doing crafty stuff or maybe Animal Crossing, something chill. But I guess if you guys really wanted to raid someone with Among Us, we could do that as well. Because uh, you're going to be the ones watching the raid anyway, so you're going to be the ones doing the raid. So if you guys really want to do that, we could do that. But suggest someone. I want to I wanna raid someone um, who... Uh, what are we saying? Oh, I, I want to raid someone who doesn't have that many viewers so they can actually notice when we raid them. Because, like, if we raid a huge streamer who has, like, m thousands of people watching them, they won't notice. But I want to raid someone who will notice and who will be happy from it, if that makes sense. I want to spread positivity. Yeah, that's cliche as that sounds. <laughs> so if you have any suggestions, let me know. For specific streamers. Oh, that knot did not turn out well. That knot is a bit wonky. Yeah. There we go. Hmm. Who's Potomac Beads? What are they doing? Three separate people suggested them. What are they doing? Who are they? Mm. Oh, Dali not said. Poto McBeats is currently doing crafty stuff. What kind of crafty stuff? I'm curious. I'm probably going to join the raid in a bit as well. Okay, so many people are suggesting this person. Okay, we're going to raid them. Uh, let me just double check. They're doing beading stuff. Okay, that actually makes sense. <laughs> the beads in their name kind of give it away. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna search them up. I want to finish this row and look them up. Just to make sure that they are family friendly and whatnot. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go to a craft store soon. Oh, that's awesome! What are you getting? Mm. What are you getting? Sorry, someone's asking, can you redeem a follow after the stream? Uh, this is the last stream that you can redeem a follow for because I'm getting rid of the buttons because they're a bit much. Um, how do you participate in a raid? Basically, I'm going to finish the stream and uh, you guys are going to be automatically uh, transferred to this person that we're going to be raiding. And once you get there, you can invade their chat and like say like, oh, you're raided by martial arts or whatever you want to say. Um, and then you can either stay and watch their stream or you can leave. You can do whatever you want. But it's just a fun thing to sort of, you know, spread fun and happiness and rainbows and sunshine. <laughs> I just found a ten my ten dollar Michael's gift card. That's awesome. Alright, um let me let's look this person up on my phone. What is their name? Photo Mac Beats. Let me just look them up. There we go. Oh, it's in one word. Alright, so you guys want to raid them? Okay, I'm going to go now then, probably. Mm. I'm going to go now. Yeah, okay, I'm going to go now. Let me just start typing out the raid message. Raid... You not make a typo in their name. If you have any like questions or anything you want to say before I go, uh, drop it now because I'm going to leave in just a sec. I think I did it correctly. But yeah, other than that, I'm going to follow everyone from last stream and this stream um, in just a bit. After that, I'm getting rid of the buttons. Uh, what's the pattern number? 59759. This is the challenge uh, for the month. Oh, you guys wanted to see what the... Um, it looked like under the tape so let me get that done because I'm probably gonna add it to my pillow instead of having it on the bracelet anyway so I'm gonna have to untie it like this anyway this is what it looks like currently 
I think it looks quite cute. I like it. I think it's awesome. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys for coming to the stream. Thanks for a great stream. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. We had a bit of a nostalgia trip in the middle there. <laughs> but yeah, I'm probably going to be streaming again this um, this week. I might do a stream where we just play random games that we were talking about, like childhood games and such. But either way, thank you for coming. I'm going to transfer you to raid um, someone else now if you feel like staying. That would be awesome. Uh, if you want to leave, that's okay too. But have a good raid and thank you for coming. I'm going to send the message now. Bye guys!